So I was planning on talking about uh, this like horrifying new video that Morgs posted today, but it's like, apparently it's been made private. I mean, I still have it, but did he take it down because the views were bad or because he's like finally learned the air of his ways? He did just post a video though, so I guess we could look at that. I just hit prank call. Yeah, I'm seeing it on Okay, yeah, so definitely the views thing. Hello there, and welcome back to YouTubers are doing what? I'm Jarvis, and uh, it hasn't been a month since my last video, so <laughs> that's exciting. I wanna start posting videos more frequently again because I've been uh, spending too long on projects lately, and then it stops being fun. Speaking of fun, today I wanna to talk about morgues. Well, actually I would prefer not to talk about him, but he's been suggested to me a lot. And if you don't know who that is, Morgs is a lovable scamp slash prank YouTuber with over 11 million subscribers who annoys his family for content. He does it all, 24 hour challenges. You're gonna be spending 24 hours straight buried in a coffin underground. Pranks. Get down on the floor now! Move. Now! Move. Life hacks. If you crack your phone screen, the toothpaste can actually repair it. Um, Mr. Beast's videos. He really does do it all. And for uh, mostly an audience of children. Don't believe me? He recently had a festival uh, called Morg's Best, great name, where you had to be accompanied by a child if you were over 18. Here's a photo of that event where you can see a sea of children listening to Morg's mum. I say mum because they're British. She also has a channel with family-friendly content, such as this video where she pranks her son, haha, -ha, by pretending that she's been attacked ah! and has lost all of her memory. What happened? I don't know you, what's going on? Who are you? <laughs> Psychological abuse. Fun for the whole family. Morgan has been recommended to me for a while and I've never really been comfortable talking about him because he was just like a 17 year old kid being obnoxious on the internet. Like what else is new? But I guess now he's 18. <laughs> so the floodgates are open. <laughs> no, just kidding. He's just posting really, he's, it's more problematic now. So I feel like I have to say something. Then I saw uh, this video that he posted last week. The best scare prank on family. This is the time when I would normally show you the thumbnail of the video also, but uh, two things. One, it's fucking horrifying. And two, I don't wanna get demonetized because this video depicts Morg's, um, how do I say this? Not alive and he's in a bathtub of presumably his own body fluid. Which, which body fluid? You can probably guess. The one that is famously red. If I can do this without getting demonetized, then I will like blur the thumbnail and, and change the color red to green so that you can get a sense. But it's a big old no-no. And can you believe it? YouTube age restricted the video. So when a video is age restricted, YouTube asks you to confirm your age to watch the video. And since Morx's viewers are all young tots, they won't be able to watch it. Um, unless, of course, they lie about their age, but who does that? I'm seven, but they let me watch it. It was scary, but I'm not scared. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, yeah! What the hell? Ah! Ah! So far, I'm just alarmed and confused. <sighs> watch to the end. Today, I'm gonna be pulling the best scare prank ever on my family. I am going to trash the entire house and make it seem like there has been a break-in. Why is he shouting? Is he always, is he always shouting? And I'm going to set up hidden cameras in every room of the house to capture their reaction once they return home. However, this isn't an ordinary break-in prank. Not to harp on this, but like you sit down at the camera and you just... Hello, YouTube! Today is not an ordinary break-in prank. What is, by the way, an ordinary break-in prank? I am gonna be upstairs in the bathroom. Can someone get him some tea and honey <laughs> or something? I'm making my family's worst nightmare come to life. Why is he using like an old-timey filter when he said, worst nightmare come to life? Is his family's worst fear that he becomes a, a, a gold prospector in 1848? And for my next prank, I've convinced my family that I've come down with the black 
long. How are they gonna react? Watch till the end to find out. So he's already told us to watch to the end like two times and it's a little bit dystopian when I think about the kids watching this who just don't have any agency and are just like, okay, all right, he said watch to the end. So like, I guess that's what I'll do. So without further ado, let's begin step one. Trash the house. Okay, so uh, step one is they've got to trash the house. Um, they've got to make it super messy. Uh, why? Because that's what burglars do. Would you look at this tiny kitchen surface? It'd be a shame if it got trashed. Oh, his face is so scary. What's he gonna do with that bread? All right, this is kind of funny. Uh, point morgues. You are useless at this. I think it's time for me to show you how it's done. So morgues isn't very good at making a mess, but luckily his friend Ed is there and that guy's a fucking maniac. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! He's going crazy! <laughs> The whole video is is filled with humor for children. In fact, all of the jokes are clearly for kids. Oh. Is this a Peppa Pig storybook? I do like see what they're doing. Like it's a it's a good attempt. They're very cartoonish jokes, definitely definitely for kids. And I mean, I think they'd be fine if the video is just composed of just composed of them. Whoa! Whoa! He's going crazy! Oh shit! No, Ed, don't um. Don't make a mess out of the shoe bin. What even is that? I'm not rich enough to understand this video. They're so unrelatably wealthy. <laughs> also, you know, I've never experienced a break-in, but I'm pretty sure that burglars don't just make a mess at the top of their lungs. <laughs> you know, maybe they're screaming to compensate for the fact that they're only making a mess one item at a time. This is a very careful burglary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that seven-year-old is talking about. This is terrifying. Wait, Ed, what are you doing? No, no. What's he gonna jump on? Just judging from Morgz's reaction, it's definitely something like a baby or a puppy or a baby riding a puppy. Don't do this, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, it was, it was a it was a bean bag. So we were close. This is like the first actual mess they've made in the entire video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. No. Not the bean. Oh my god. Not Then they just uh, continue destroying the place, including um, this fish, this glass fish that they apparently have a relationship with, but I don't know what it is. That was a gift from my mom. They flip the couch, which is something that every burglar does, uh, and Ed goes Super Saiyan. <laughs> they draw the line at Morgz's diamond play button, which is also just a big flex. There's a lot of like very like casual flexes in this video, um, like the fact that Morgz is wearing a uh, a chain that has his own name on it. Everyone is wearing his own merch, and his name is just plastered throughout the house. Let's get a move on. And do the rest of these rooms because time is running out. During this MTV crib shot in the hallway, <laughs> Morg is reminding us that time is running out, yet they are <laughs> wasting so much time on like inconsequential sh they haven't stolen anything, for the record. Reminder, they are supposed to be burglars. Time is running out. All right, now I need to uh, have a standoff with my mannequin. Is this relatable, by the way? Does everyone else have a mannequin in their home? Okay guys, the next room that we're gonna be trashing is the gym. And judging by the amount of heavy weight in this room, this could actually be a challenge. Cause we're not very strong. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's trash the place by gingerly setting things aside. All they did was knock over some weights. Why would a burglar do this? Sir, there's been a burglary. Did they hit the gym? Yes. Did they throw the weights through the window? Worse, they uh, put them in a pile on the floor. Damn it. 
These guys mean business. Okay guys, we've trashed the living room, my office, and now the gym. Meaning we only have one more room to trash downstairs. The toilet. Say no more, Morgs. I trash the toilet every time I drink dairy. Okay guys, the next room we're gonna trash is my bedroom. And it's usually trashed most of the time, so this shouldn't be hard. <laughs> Just a little self-roast. <laughs> and now it's time to trash my room. And this shouldn't be hard. Because being organized is something I struggle with. <laughs> it's clear he planned to move the whole mattress, but it, it was too hard, so he gave up halfway through. I like how he leaves the Versace shirt up. Like, look, I know I'm making a mess, but you still gotta flex. Is that really what a burglar, don't burglars want possessions and money? Do I not know what burglars are? <laughs> So uh, now Morgs and his friend Ed are finished trashing their whole house. And just like that guys, we have finished trashing the entire house. He's like, I think we did a good job. And then shows the before and after. And all I can look at is how <laughs> absurdly rich they are. Like I still feel like I'm being flexed on. So now it's time uh, for their final trick, which is to, I'm still worried about getting demonetized by describing this. I'll just let Morg say it. In this room, we're gonna be doing something a lot worse than trashing it. We're gonna be filling the bath and covering the room with fake blood and making it seem like something bad has happened to me. It feels like he uh, tried to end the sentence, but then just like kept talking. <laughs> we're gonna be filling the room with fake blood and then making it seem like something bad has happened to me. And it will probably make my mom and, and, and uh, my stepfather Martin uh, kind of nervous and upset about what's happened to me because uh, that's why I'm filming the video. Let's use this. <gasps> what is that, Morgan? This. Um, is it, is it corn syrup? This. Um. M motor oil? This. Yes, I know that it's what you're holding, but I can't, the, the resolution's not high enough for me to read the label. Three. Morgan, no, don't do it. Two. Oh, no. One. Oh, no. Why is one of them always concerned about the mess that they're making? Like they agreed to trash the place and yet some person's always behind the camera like, no, don't do it, Morgan. This is crazy. I know I was just, uh, I don't know, fucking breaking a, last fish a second ago, but no! <laughs> now, I don't think I can really show much of the mess that he makes because it truly looks gruesome and I think it's a big reason that the video got um, age restricted, but he just like, you know, splashes this all over the place. Okay guys, now that the house is ready, it's time to begin the prank. So now it's time for my favorite part where he uh, FaceTimes his mother, um, Morg's mom, as she's known to 3.5 million subscribers and uh, tells her that someone has broken into the house. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Are you okay? A few minutes ago, I heard a really loud noise coming from downstairs, and it sounds like there's footsteps coming from downstairs, and I think someone might have broken into the house. Are you being silly, Morgan? Is this a joke? Are you being silly, Morgan? Is this a joke? Is this one of your little YouTube videos where you frequently prank me, and they often go a little bit too far, Morgan. Is, it, is that what one of these is? Not a joke, I promise. It looks straight to the camera. It's not a joke, I promise. <laughs> it's like, we'll never tell the secret. Just hide somewhere. Don't say anything. Don't make any noise. And just wait for us to get back, okay? Just hide somewhere. Don't call the police. Why does our house have a security system, Morgan? It's it's like a mansion. Shouldn't we have invested in that, Morgan? It doesn't look like they've came for the items, Mom. I think they might have came for me. We're coming, we're coming. Bye, bye. Oh my gosh, that 
was intense. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. What are you talking about? I just have to give you a little bit of a disclaimer before he um, tells you to subscribe because this one's just out of this world. Please go down there and subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys, or someone will break into your house. What? <laughs> you don't even qualify that at all? You don't say like, just kidding. There are thousands of kids right now scrambling to find the subscribe button for fear of their family's safety. I'm not subscribed, so. Better safe than sorry. Oh my God. I'm just gonna shout to Go quiet. I'm gonna call bullshit real quick. Enter the house and then start freaking out. You couldn't have formed a plan in the car. You're gonna go into the house where the burglars are and then start being concerned. I've got an idea, Martin. Let's wait until we get inside the house where the burglars are and then we make our plan. Shh, quiet, quiet. quiet, quiet. <laughs> so loud. Surely if somebody had broken and smashed everything up and made a lot of mess, we'd see it. But there's nothing out the honor it. They're not gonna re honor it. I don't even know what he's saying. <laughs> I just tried to make the same sound that he did. Stay quiet because if there's something in the house, we don't want them to hear us. Yeah, we don't want them to hear us, especially right now where we're just whispering quite loudly for the microphones that are nearby. <laughs> this house is very well lit at night, I would like to mention, and also the video quality is quite high for hidden cameras. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's just got like DSLRs sitting on tripods. Oh my god, what a mess. Why are the hidden cameras moving and uh, right in front of their faces and why are they extremely well lit? Did the burglar set up lighting equipment? Are the hidden cameras just Ed with a lampshade on his head? This motherfucker's shadows have some explaining to do. <laughs> There's definitely a big ass softbox light just sitting in front of his face. Morgan! Morgan, where are you, Morgan? It's me, your mother, Morgan. Be quiet. So I guess they're not gonna call the police or their son. Maybe you could text him, let him know that you're here instead of just like going through the house in the order that they messed up the room, just reveling at how messy it is. Isn't there still a burglar in the house? Aren't they supposed to be quiet? Morgan, are you down here? Morgan, are you in here? Calm down. So I know that, you know, they're, they're emotionally distraught and like looking for their son who's missing or dead, but <laughs> they first gotta stress out about the, uh, uh, the bread. Wait. Wait a sec, Martin. Yeah. Where's my loaf gone? I bought a loaf this morning. I left you on here for the ham sandwiches. Calm down, it's only bread. Calm down, it's only bread. <laughs> Stop getting so emotional, lady. Not like me, a big bully man. Oh. This is genuinely hilarious. Morgan's missing! And you're going on about your blooming beans! Look what they've done to me beans! Oh, what have you done to me beans? <laughs> Oh, what have you done to me, Bean? <laughs> They're just like swapping off on being dumb, I guess. Like, stop worrying about your your bread. It's it's only bread. Oh, will you stop worrying about your beans? Cause uh, <laughs> newsflash, our child is missing. They have the tools to make genuinely funny content, and yet they just make like this sensational garbage. The the beans bit was gold. I bought the beans because I liked the bit so much. <laughs> Martin is trying his best. Give him a break while he mourns his beans. They even trash the gym. Oh no. Don't stay on Martin's side for too long because he's about to body shame his wife for not using the gym. I love this room. Why would they do this? What are you doing about? You never use it. You never, you never in here. Just so we're clear, they spend, I don't know, six to 10 minutes looking around this fucking house. <laughs> Morgan's bathroom. Let's search in there. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's do this. I think he just doesn't have the ability to whisper because his parents are like outside the door. Morgan's bathroom. Let's search in there. I'm whispering because my parents are right outside the door and I just like to remind you to subscribe. They're almost here. I'm keeping my voice down. So then they finally discover Morg's uh, gruesomely playing dead. And <laughs> let me just tell you, it was a 
bloodbath. And just having watched the, the rest of the video without these scenes, this escalation is insane. And now his, his mom is screaming because she's witnessing, you know, her son in this in this state that I'm trying not to describe too much because I don't want to get demonetized. I can't show it to you, but you can imagine how uh, gruesome it is and how triggering this might be, especially because they're just doing this like blend between cartoon and reality. Like, I don't know why it had to get to this point. And then they just scream at the door conveniently where you can see uh, the camera reflected <laughs> in, in the in the shower, right below the giant inscription of Morgz's name. Martin goes uh, to get his phone, which he for some reason hasn't had on him this whole time to call an ambulance, which is the first time that they think to do that. And then <laughs> once the screaming has happened for a full five minutes, um, the burglar shows up. <laughs> Got him, ha ha, you got pranked. <laughs> That'll teach you not to uh, love your son. <laughs> Get you a friend like Ed who will support you no matter what. Ed, I, I just committed grand larceny and the federal government's on my tail. I can always count on you. Uh, let's see, what else happens in this video? Um, Martin uh, attempts to drown Morgan, <laughs> which is not a, very reasonable way to react because, I mean, violence is never the answer. Oh. And then Morg's mom lets him know that uh, this will not stand and um, he's gonna learn his lesson. That was too far! I'm gonna get you back for this! Maybe, don't <laughs> get him back. Maybe just sit down and have a conversation. Compassion. Emotional intelligence, something like that. And then the video just ends. <laughs> There's no, uh, don't try this at home. I think maybe in the description they had something, but it, it's not enough. They're not gonna explain to their young and impressionable audience what they just saw. This whole experience has been uh, scarring to me and I'm a 27 year old man. It's just a little, I mean, it's kind of a lot upsetting to me because they, I mean, they were so close to not, if you just cut out, all the scenes with this. And it's actually like a cute video with some slapstick humor, some fun times. Why'd you have to take it there, man? Why'd it have to get so dark? That's all I had for today. Um, now I've got to go to the doctor to get my hearing checked out. Thanks to Madigan Grice for uh, sending me a message on Instagram. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. If you want me to butcher your name, then Follow me on the Instagram and send me a message. Bye.